I see you, Mr. The Alien Doctor. Uh, you, you know, technically, if I was a doctor, I wouldn't have Mr. at the start of my name, because I'd be Dr. Mr. Alien. Mr. Dr. Alien so, Doctor. Um... <laughs> yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Shady Man in a Blue Cloak as Mr. Okay. Pinet I'm Pater. not that shady. It's, it's not that shady, okay? It's, it's, it's just a wandering trader, okay? Yeah, but Maybe slightly. bad prices and stuff. Yeah, anyway. Uh, what, what what is this? So this, this like is spectator mode slash camera mode. <gasps> Magic. Light That's replay mod, sort of. Except for it doesn't re. Sort of? Yeah, but one thing we should probably point out: it doesn't replay things. So you're you gonna to need to have. Time. Yeah, you're gonna need to have another account for this to work. Oh. Oh. So um, do you have another account? Yes, I, I happen to have. Wait, where'd it go? <gasps> Oh, he's, I know, I was trying to find <laughs> Wait, him. Wait, there it is. He was just here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we happen to have the alien cam over here, who happens to be so a sad. camera. The idea is, is that you'd have a second camera account like this one, and they'd basically do all these movements in real time, which is really nice. Awesome. So when you're building, they could just be flying around recording you, what you're doing, or like a spectator account. Yeah. To set up this add-on, which you can get from foxynotel.com, something important that you do need to do is have is do the command slash tag, then the username. So in this case, uh, let's just say it was okay. the alien doctor. Add Ooh. trusted, like what I just put in chat, but without the dot. So what this means is that if you're not a camera account, then you're not gonna okay. be able to like go inspect his head. Ooh, okay. Oh, I mean, we may as well get started, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me how this works because I have uh, very little idea how this works. Okay, so first of all, I would recommend getting all these stuff. Oh, okay. So I, everything on here, make sure make sure you grab it. Yes. So uh, these are the I basic... definitely didn't oh. break it. Uh, <laughs> you saw oh, the... yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Definitely time. didn't break it. These are the utility, as you can see. I, I couldn't think of a better name for them. And you... oh, I accidentally. Uh, <laughs> wow, you squat and... not even let me finish complaining. <laughs> okay, so I I, I am invisible. Yes, so You're as invisible. you can see, we're Somewhere. both invisible, so if you crouch with the diamond, then you will activate camera mode. And even though we were in creative, if we were in survival, we would still be able to fly. Beep. Something else to point oh. out about the setup of this is you have to have education edition turned on. Which means you do technically have to have cheats on, but after you've turned on education edition, you can then turn cheats off again. And it doesn't do a whole lot to change your yeah. game. It does literally nothing in survival, so yeah, don't worry about that sort of thing. One thing to point out, nice. for some reason, it says Education Edition is off in this world. It is on, it's just there's a bug where it doesn't say that it's on. It's, well, oh. it's weird. Anyway, <laughs> that's Bedrock Edition. Oh, that, that's good. Bedrock, yeah, makes so much sense. Let's say for some reason you want to get out of camera mode, you can just oh. crouch the eye oh, Magic. So if I, if I, I can just come up and be like... Hello. Yeah, you can scare me and stuff. <laughs> Or make me jump or whatever. <gasps> Whoa! So, and then if you get the golden carrot, you enable night vision so you can see. Yeah, so this is really good if you're doing like uh, a slime farm time lapse, for example, where it might be dark. Oh, I can't fly. <laughs> but then you can light it up. <laughs> yeah. And this also gives you the conduit effect so you can see underwater. Oh, that is pretty fancy because sometimes you like, you know, you come into the water and you're like, you just can't see anything anyway. Okay, I think this is just weird. I just see a floating carrot, and that's that's very concerning for my health. But other than that, it does look really cool. Yeah. And then next we've got the chorus fruit, fruit which just teleports you to the nearest player, which apparently is alien cam. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> it does. Uh, so you do not crouch with that one. You actually just like... Yeah, just hit it. So yeah, you can fly over here. A aliens def is flying around. Yeah, so this is really useful if you've left your camera account in like a different place. And then you can fly instantly back. Yeah. Or if you're And then last but not least, whilst Perry's back. running back, if I punch this goal uh this water bottle and then just stop moving around, then what it will do is actually follow uh Ooh. the nearest player, which is now the Galian cam. <laughs> but was which you is now the alien. Which is now uh, you is again. So this isn't the best. It's you're... kind of stuttery and you're limited to what you can do with it, but it's a thing. Okay. So I mean I, I, I gotta check this out. So Yeah, okay, so I'll player. go in. Oh, oh yeah, okay. to deactivate it, go. just punch follow it. Just punch the uh That is ball. so weird. 
But you can do like this really cool juddery image if you yeah. choose to. I tried in an Alien Craft episode, I did try this out and it just looked quite stuttery. But yeah. But if you want to try it, you can. Yeah. And it is really useful if you're doing some sort of roleplay thing and you want to make it look like someone's looking at the other person without actually having to get two people, you know, controlling the device or whatever, then it's also really useful for that. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, alien, Dr. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't follow them. Oh. Yeah, now that's the very basic part of this add-on. I think we should come over here. Very simple way to explain it. It's slowest, less slow, fast, <laughs> and then fast, more fast. Uh, yep. Definitely not confusing. For this example, we'll just use more fast, I think, just because... More fast. Yeah, it's designed to be sped up in a time lapse when you're editing, and slowest is quite slow. So, yeah, for this example, let's just use more fast. But if you are making a time lapse, use slowest. If you go into right. camera mode, like I am right now... I'm just going to follow your instructions, because you know what you're doing. <laughs> and then punch with the black die. Boop. That will set the movement to fastest. We've then got all of these other dies. And these you don't have to punch to activate. So if you're in camera mode and you're holding one of these dies, then it will move you in that direction. If you actually punch with the die, then it will switch to the opposite direction. So the red die is left and right, if you want to give that a go. Okay, I got the dies. You squat down with the camera account, click more fast, or whatever else you want to add it. Oh, and it moves you. Yeah, so the it, red die is just left way. and right, which is pretty simple. We then got the orange, which is forwards and backwards. It's just if you scroll to it, and then if you click, it will switch to the other yeah. direction. So if you're holding it, that then it will do that action. So anyway, orange, forwards and backwards. Then we've got the orange pink one. And backwards. Yep. Pink one, which <laughs> is clockwise and counterclockwise. We've then got yellow which is up and down and this is relative to which direction you're looking in so um as you can see here i'm looking straight down or if you're looking straight down or straight up and then you hold the yellow die then it's sort of going to move relative to which direction you're looking if that makes sense i mean you can kind of so if you look down if you decide that you're going to look down with it it's going to be different than when you're looking straight across yeah like, if you're looking down, then it's just going to move you across. Whereas if you're looking forwards, then it's going to move you pretty much straight up. Or if you're at an angle, then it's going to move you at an angle back and that sort of thing. So oh, there's lots of different options that you can use for this to get yeah. it exactly how you want. Yeah, and this one, yeah, this is really useful for fine tuning, that sort of thing. The pink one is probably my favorite, though. You know, you just start spinning. Yeah. I don't know how helpful it is, but <laughs> I, it's just very nice. If you, ah, oh, there we go. It looks like the, the panorama is at the beginning of when you load up Minecraft. Yeah, it does. And then brown dye is north and south. So obviously, I don't see much use case for this one. If you know that you want to point north or south, then I guess it's useful. But other than that, you might as well just use <laughs> left or right. Use... But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and that means you have to... Yeah. Brown is yeah. not the best color, you know? Just just pick a, pick a nicer color. <laughs> and then that's the same with uh, lime, except for it's west and east. And then last but not least, we have green, which is up and down. Not relative. Whee. Yeah, so that's those. So there is a lot of options to do with these. Yeah. And you can configure it however you want, wherever you're building, and it will work pretty much all the time. Yeah. And that's still quite basic. However, <laughs> that's basic. still, that's still, let's just say uh, we've got some more oh. fancier stuff coming. Oh no. Uh, okay. <laughs> so oh, let's grab, this... we're going to need our speed Ooh. die and then the diamond and iron. Is there a way to get rid of all the command block output? Uh, yeah, there is actually. Yes. So um, to get rid of command block, which we probably should have done at start. Yeah. Do uh, game rule. Command block output, false. Just like I've put in chat, but without the dot. I'm just gonna type it in, you know? And both of these, both of the commands that we showed will also be in the description as well. Yes, they will. Because they're very confusing sometimes and <laughs> they're hard to find. Yeah, but anyway, moving so, on to target mode. So this is actually one of my favorite modes. I use this the most in Alien Craft. 
And then, Ooh. oh yeah, something else to mention, we're obviously both from Pinecraft SMP, um, which you should go check out. But also, definitely next should. season, <laughs> we, we probably will have this on Pinecraft, so uh, you'll see a lot more of this. So, if you need to come back for a tutorial, this is the video to do so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello future us, watching our own hello. videos. <laughs> Good evening. So yeah, target mode is... Actually, one of my favorites, I think most people will prefer path mode, which we'll get on last because it's the most complicated, but target mode is my personal favorite. So for this, we're First gonna up. need the diamond, the iron, the speed thing, whatever speed you want. Oh, I, I definitely didn't remove that, uh, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, this is one mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So you also need the shears to remove the target point, the spyglass, and then just whatever dies you feel like, there's a left, right, out, there's left, right, down, left, right, in, uh, left, right, up, and left, right, and circle around. Yes. And, uh, well, yeah, you can probably see what color they are just by looking. <laughs> so anyway, let's go back into camera mode. Boop. And in then, mode. first of all, we're going to add our target point. So what this is, is what you're going to want to do Ooh. is... Uh, get your focus of the cinematic or time-lapse. So let's just head over here. You may not be able to see me, but anyway. So let's say we want to get this flower. We didn't build this map, by the way. Um, link in the description also. But yeah, let's say we wanted to do something with this flower. So we're going to click where we want the target point to be. It is a bit janky. It's not perfectly mm. where you click. I don't know if you noticed just that. <laughs> It's, it's close enough, though, and maybe <laughs> two players, it might be a little weird. Yeah. But if you also don't know where you put your path target block and you're like, oh, I don't know where it's at, and it disappears, if you wait a second. Waiting a second. <laughs> still waiting a second. <laughs> wow, okay, that was so a let's say they, Let's say they disappear and you have no idea where they're at. You can use the telescope. If you click with that, it will re-highlight wherever they are at. So Yeah. And this is very useful. This is not, you're not like using it like normally, you're just clicking with it or using the trigger or whatever it is. Because if you use the other one, you, you zoom in. Yeah. And you can see <laughs> far away. <laughs> yeah, which is also very useful, but but not part of this add-on. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So all of these dies are relative to your target point. So obviously you can go further away or closer to the target point. So we've got the first one, which is Cyan, which is going to... Yep rotate left or right and you're not going to move up and down on this one it's just going to be in a circle yeah. all the way around so if yep. you're using this one it's always going to have your camera at the same angle so like i'm going to look straight up and then activate it and it's just going to point your camera at the same angle towards the target point and then next is the um i don't even know light blue die i think that is and this one will circle up left or right so left up around the target point or right up around the target point i explained that kind of badly but it will it will go up and around yeah and the same thing with the blue it will go down instead of going up yes and then with the pink and the purple or that might be magenta actually it just goes out and left or right and then in or left or right so if you want to get slowly closer, that. then you can go in. If you want to get slowly further away, you can go out. So there's a lot of customization with all these different dies. You can really customize really how you want to make yeah. this shot to look like. Yeah, which is really, really useful. This is the one I probably use the most. And it's, it's just so simple too. It's not a lot of work. You yeah. just get the die, get your speed, and you go. So something else I should point out is to, act, to deactivate spectator mode, use the iron ingot. Don't use slash game mode C because it does mess up the pack kind of. Um, oh, we we kind of run into some issues where we were, <laughs> yeah. We need to make sure whenever you want to exit camera mode, to crouch with an iron ingot. Yes. The so, other thing to mention oh. is if you re-log, so log out of the game and log back in, you may also have to crouch with the iron ingot and then crouch with the diamond again. I've noticed it's a bit weird if you log out and log back in in whilst you're yeah. in camera mode. So just make sure you shut everything off before you leave or before doing something else all right alien so we have this last section over here and it's called path mode uh it, it looks complicated please explain that would be yes. fantastic so for this you're gonna need the diamond and the iron again and then you're also gonna need your speed so we'll just do more fast for the point of the demonstration <laughs> and then all of this stuff so a clock 
compass, emerald, spyglass, shears, water bucket, target block, and gold. Now you don't have to have all of these in your inventory for it to work, but all of these things have features. But like, let's say you don't want to use one of these features, then you can just get rid of the item. You don't need it. Yeah, you don't even need it. So yeah, so, so let's find, let's just use this build over here. Oh yes, this is very beautiful. Yeah, let's use this flower. Yeah. What path mode does is it lets you fly around in a path looking at something, basically. That's that's the best explanation I could come up with. <laughs> it will make more sense <laughs> in a second. So let's Once activate camera it. mode by crouching with the diamond. So punch with the clock <laughs> and this and activates path, path mode. So the other stuff that you use won't work in path mode. So I don't even think the iron Okay, never mind. Maybe the, yeah. iron, maybe the iron ingot does work. <laughs> Be careful with it. Make sure you deactivate path mode if you want to do that and then get out of the camera mode because then everything yeah. will work correctly yeah. if you if do you, it in the right order. If you, leave, if you crouch with the iron ingot whilst in path mode, it's weird. So yeah, just make sure to leave path so. mode and crouch with the thing. But yeah, anyway, so back into path mode. The next, the next step is to use the focus point. So the focus point is where you're focusing time lapse on or where you're looking so let's just say we want to go to like the center of this we're just going to click with the target block there <laughs> we put go. it That's wherever you feel like yeah Boop. you can do multiple people i think it works yes this does work with multiple people as you can see because you may have more than one spectator account if it's a server like pinecraft yeah so as you can see there, can the other thing is our focus points have disappeared. If you click with the spyglass like the target point, it will just reappear. Magic. <laughs> so now we're actually going to need to start placing in some uh, points. points, which you use uh, with the compass. And it's very simple. All you have to do is choose where you want to start your path. And let's say you want to come a little bit far out and then zoom in it really close to the flower and then circle it and then all you have to do is click with the compass to get the points you want you can even go up and down you can move left and right you can go pretty much anywhere you want with this yeah and i believe this has up to 25 points if i remember correctly a lot uh, of which should be more than enough that, that's good enough yeah so i've got and... 17 in there now before we actually activate path mode you may want to check that you have your path set up correctly to do this, just punch with the golden uh, ingot, and this will sort of rotate you around your path really quite quickly. And I, why am I going? So oh, wait, what? Why am I going so far away? Wait, yeah, why oh. are we both? Uh, this isn't mental. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? What? This isn't normal. Why? This uh, isn't what? Yeah. So if it messes up like that, or maybe we just placed a point over there or something. So anyway, if it messes up like that, you can reset your path point uh, or reset your entire path just by leaving path mode and then going back in it. I think there's other ways of doing it. We're going to put the target block again for the focus point and then we're going to use the compass to place around our points like so. I'm not going to do as many this time. I'm only going to do seven. And as I say, to test it, use the golden ingot and yeah this looks a lot more normal so obviously this isn't very good this is quite stuttery this isn't very good for a time lapse this is more for testing to see if you've got it right because it gives you a really good idea of you know what the path is going to be once it's really slow so you might decide that you actually want to have your focus point a little bit lower so you can just put it a bit lower for example and because these are actually entities you can put them inside of blocks which is quite nice even though you might fly through them if you do that yeah they test the path. And speaking of flying through, this isn't like proper Java Edition Spectator mode. You cannot fly through blocks. However, your head can. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> but it doesn't work as so, an X-ray or anything, so... You can't be flying through the ground and try to locate ores and random other things like that. Yeah. No cheating. Yeah. <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> so yeah, now that you've got your path in, if you just punch... Well, actually, you're going to want to set your speed first. So we're, I'm just going to use the black die so that we can see it at its fastest. We're then going to punch with the emerald. And this is going to start your path. And then as you can see here, for us it's going, well for me at least, it's going quite quickly because I set it to be the fastest. However, if you set it to be the slowest, it will be really, really slow, which is good because if you're speeding this up for a time lapse, that's exactly what you want. 
And so it's very simple and you can get some really cool cinematic shots when you're doing this. And as you can tell, you can fly through blocks. You can do so much cool stuff with this. Yeah, it's really nice. And this so is really good if you want to like follow a character running through uh, something for like a cinematic shot as well for uh, alien lore. Hint, hint. Alien lore. <laughs> so if you want to start or stop your path, you can just click the emerald again, and get out of your path. And yeah. There you go. So let's say you want to, you finish with your path and you want a new one. You can use the water bucket to reset, reset your path. So let's just view them. And I'm going to use the water bucket and it got rid of all mine. You may notice that some of these are still here. These are Perry's, which is good. So it doesn't <laughs> reset other people's paths, which is kind of a useful feature. There we go. Yep, it still works. So don't be don't be worried if like two of you are on the same server realm or whatever. It should still yeah. work no matter how many people are using it. Well, yeah, I can't guarantee so... how many people. But... <laughs> yeah. So the last thing to mention is that when you want to leave this, make sure to deactivate path mode by clicking with the clock first of all. And then after you've done that, if you want to leave spectator mode entirely, then you can also just crouch with the iron nugget or ingot, sorry, not nugget. The nugget? Words are hard sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. And but you're yeah. back to normal. And this, yeah, you're just back to normal. Obviously you're a spectator account, so presumably you're not playing Minecraft normally. Uh, you I would assume, seems as you have to use cheats, like activate cheats at least once to use this for Education Edition. Presumably you'd use commands just to give you all of these items. And uh, I would also recommend naming them as well so that you can actually see what they all do, like we have. Sometimes it's confusing. You don't know what you're using and you're like, oh, uh, the, the compass does something. I just, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> It's very handy to rename them. I guess one other off. thing to point out is when you are trying to deactivate, if you're crouching in the air, then the iron ingot will not deactivate you. You have to be crouching on the ground so you don't fall to your death, which is <laughs> useful and nice but anyway. <laughs> which is which is nice, yes. <laughs> you may also want to put yourself in visitor so that you can't like give yourself a diamond or whatever. If, you know, an admin's giving you a diamond, maybe just going <laughs> to the pause screen and setting your permissions to visit her. Like, I'm just going to do that to Perry right there. <laughs> You're going to... Oh, no, I'm visitor. And now you can't drop yourself a diamond or something. Yeah, you can't drop anything in yeah. your path. You can also you can move them all once you get them all. Very simple, so. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Alien. I, I'm like, <laughs> been so informed. Uh, this is a fantastic tool, but you know what? I I'm going to use this soon, you know? And because of this, I'm it's going to be good. Yes, you're welcome. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. See you in the next video coming soon, I guess. Yes. yes. Also, <laughs> check, out, check out this fantastic uh, Mr. The Alien Doctor. And check out... Very fantastic. <laughs> and check out the Fruit Realm YouTube channel, who also... Yeah, by the way, we both make add-on showcases, so, like... If you're interested yeah. in one, you're probably interested in the other. Just saying. Check check out both, you know? <laughs> uh, 